another set of relation angular relationships. It's called a linear pair. We just mentioned it in the last segment we did. A linear pair is two angles that are adjacent and supplementary. They must be adjacent. They must share a side. They must have a common vertex. They cannot have any common interior parts. Their non-common sides, the ones that do not share, are opposite rays. They form a straight line. Well, let's look at this. We have angle X, Y, Z, and we have angle W, Y, Z. What's common to both of them? What do they share? They share a vertex, right? Share a vertex of Y. What else do they share? They share a side, ray, Y, Z. Very good. Now, the non-shared sides are what? Ray Y X and Ray Y W. What are they? That's right. They're opposite rays. What do we know about opposite rays? Opposite rays form a straight line. What's the measure of a straight line? Definition of supplementary. Two angles added together equals 180 degrees. The measure of a straight line is 180 degrees. Okay? And ABC, angle ABC and angle CBD are the same way. They just happen to be drawn a different way. Linear pair. Line, they make a line. Linear pair. There's two of them. Make a line. And there's a couple of them. Linear pair. Easy to remember. Okay, another relationship that we need to talk about is perpendicular lines. What in the world is perpendicular? Well, perpendicular lines are lines, segments, or rays that form right angles. They are perpendicular. And here's a symbol meaning perpendicular. You've seen this upside down T? Perpendicular. It means perpendicular. What in the world is a right angle? 90 degrees. Right angles are 90 degrees. Okay, right here. It's 90 degrees, okay? They form angles that are 90 degrees. Perpendicular lines, rays, segments form angles that are 90 degrees. Here's some examples. Two lines. Line AB is perpendicular to line XY. They're perpendicular. They're drawn. The little box that will note this right here, where they're perpendicular. This right here says, hey, they're perpendicular to each other. They form a right angle. The little box says, tells you for certain that this angle here is a right angle. Now here are two line segments. Segment LM and segment RS are perpendicular. That's what this says right here. Example of it, again, the box is how we would indicate that on that picture. Two rays, JK is perpendicular to JL. Okay? We have ray JK, ray JL, they're perpendicular to each other. That means they form a right angle, and that's how we would note that. Okay? Another relationship. A lot of these relationships. This is what's going to drive the algebra that we do. Geometry is algebra with pictures. These are the pictures that we draw that define the algebra so you can do the algebra. The last relationship we want to talk about is the vertical angles are pairs. Vertical angles of pairs are two non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. Now let's look at this real close because there's some interesting things that happen when lines intersect. I have a line here and a line here and they intersect. Now, Four angles are formed. Angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four. Vertical pairs are the non-adjacent pairs. What are the non-adjacent pairs? They're not next to each other. Okay? They do not have common sides. They do have a common vertex. So what are the, non, the vertical non-adjacent angles? Angle 1 and angle 3, they're a vertical pair. Angle 2 and angle 4, they're a vertical pair. Now, intersecting lines are 
guys also form linear pairs. Angle 1 and angle 2 are a linear pair. Angle 2 and angle 3 are a linear pair. Angle 3 and angle 4, they're a linear pair. Angle 4 and angle 1, they are a linear pair. Okay? Got it? Interesting thing about vertical pairs, they are congruent. What's congruent mean? Try it. Their measures are equal. Linear pairs are supplementary. Makes sense. Angle 1 and 2 are formed by opposite rays. Therefore, all oh, opposite rays are straight lines. They form a straight line. Therefore, when I add these two together, the measures of these two, they come up to 180 degrees. Add the measure of these two together, they come up to 180. Measures of these two together, they come up to 180. Measures of 1 and 4 come up to 180. Opposite pairs are non-adjacent angles. Notice that linear pairs are adjacent. The adjacent angles of intersecting lines are linear pairs. The non-adjacent angles of intersecting lines are vertical pairs. Very important relationships to know. Vertical pairs are congruent. Linear pairs are supplementary. Finally, through with all the relationships we have, we'll do some samples and we'll be done with this one.